guys and welcome to the start of my reading vlog for Brandon Sanderson's Hero of Ages. So this is the final book in the original Mistborn trilogy and I'm slightly worried, I'm slightly scared they're all gonna die but I'm so 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 excited to read this one. But I have to say before I begin this is not part of the Cosmere Along at all anymore, I'm just reading these because I really really enjoy Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere so I'm probably not gonna be reading them now every single month but I'm gonna try and read them maybe every other month and just sort of take my time with it because I don't want to be part of the Cosmere along anymore or anything like that so this is all now just me wanting to read it and probably reading it along with my mum because she just started this book yesterday and I'm not letting her finish before I do so I'm gonna get going with it and I'm so excited to see where this one goes and just to see how it all wraps up because I love this series I love this series and I'm just I'm just so excited to see where it goes but I am also terrified that this is going to go horrendously wrong for everybody so I'm just going to get going with it, rip the blaster off and just start reading. So I'm just on page 68 which is chapter 8 and I love the fact that this has just gone straight into it and it hasn't mucked about or anything it's like right okay you're in you know what's happening let's go. I really really enjoy that I love the fact they opened on a battle as well I love that we're still getting multiple points of view including Ten Soon. I am loving the Ten Soon like POV and finding out more about Kandra and their society. I'm loving all of that. I'm loving all of this sort of what are the plates, what are the different stores, what was the Lord Ruler doing and what's in the fifth one. I reckon it's going to be nothing's in there. I just have this feeling because why does anything ever go well in these books for anybody? And I quite like the fact that Vin and Ellen and now Mistborn together and Ellen's slightly more powerful. I don't know, I think it just sort of has turned their relationship a little bit the other way now. So it's quite interesting to see Ellen as more powerful. I'm just, I'm really excited to see the possibilities of where this is going. I'm really excited to see just where this is going. So currently I am completely and utterly convinced that the um, little bits extracts at the beginning of each chapter this time are definitely written by Sazed because I was wrong with both the first in the first two books but I reckon this third one is definitely Sazed because you've just mentioned Marsh and obviously the original person writing the original extracts didn't know Marsh and this is one hell of a plot to us coming so I reckon this time it's definitely Sazed Slobby Sazed please tell me it's Sazed because <laughs> I've been hanging on to this theory for three books now can I just be right once I'd really like to be right because I haven't gotten a plot twist right yet and I want this one right along with Vin's earring despite the fact we haven't actually heard anything about Vin's earring in this book yet but I still want Vin's earring to be made of some sort of metal that gives her powers or memories or something and maybe she can sort of do what the Lord Ruler did by combining the like powers of the Terrorismen and the Mistborn. I really like that idea at the moment. I really like that idea. So I'm hoping that'll happen. Fingers crossed. I want that to happen so badly. Spook better not be dead. I swear to God, if they've killed Spook, I will not be happy. He's not my favourite, but don't kill Spook. For God's sake, do not kill Spook. Kelsey had just saved Spook. What? 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 Kelsia? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I've read a little bit more and I've got a bit of an Ellen theory. No, not Ellen, I have a Kelsia theory. So currently the only person who has seen Kelsia, like physically seen him or heard him, is Spook. And Spook has got this like heightened tin senses, so his sight and his ears and everything else are more like honed and more like powerful I guess you could say so he can see things better and hear things better than everybody else even if they are burning tin and I'm just wondering if he's the only one who can see him because or at least hear him and physically see him because he's like Kelsey is actually a mist wraith so he is pointing Vin and everyone in the right direction but they can only see his mist form and not him 
and they can't see him properly. They can only see the mist form and they can't hear him. So that's why he's only having to point things at them. And that's the reason why only Spook can physically talk to him. I don't know, I could be entirely wrong here, but that is my current theory because it makes sense in my head. It's probably not right. It's definitely not right. I haven't gotten a single thing right yet, but that is the theory I'm going with right now. I just loved that scene in the ball where Ellen and Villa are dancing together. I love the fact that he pulled out a book and everything. That was absolutely brilliant. I love their relationship so much. I'm so happy that Tensor managed to like get out of there and now I'm just wondering just what the hell his plan is because he doesn't even know where Vin is let alone anything else that's going on. I've just thought of another theory as to what Kelsey's voice is because Kelsey's voice seems to be pushing Spook to do like not evil things but like to be paranoid and murder people I'm just wondering if it's the same voice that was speaking to Kane the whole way through um the well of ascension that would make a bit more sense because it sounds like the same or like a similar sort of voice speaking to the both of them and i'm just wondering if it is also ruin or if it's something else i'm currently not believing it's kelsey though definitely don't believe it's kelsey but i have no idea who else it could be Apart from maybe the voice who was speaking to zane not kane zane the whole way through well of ascension I don't know. I just don't trust Kelsey's voice whatsoever. I do not trust it. Just at all. That is not what I expected how Kolos were made. That, that was not what I was expecting in any shape or form. I should have figured it out as soon as humans started talking. Like the first time around saying I am human, but mind blown. Absolutely mind blown blown. Reen? Reen? Oh my god, I did not see the Reen plot twist coming whatsoever. Like, I'm only at just at the beginning of part four, Beautiful Destroyer, but I did not see Reen coming at all. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see where this is going, but really, fingers crossed, I'm now hoping that we're gonna get the answers to the earring and the mother and the killed sister and all the rest of it, because I really need answers. I am desperate to find out if Finn's earring has any sort of like terrorist type power or anything and now my battery's flashing at me so I really need to turn this off and carry on reading and charge it so just oh my god did Spook just when he ran into the fire did he just die because I'm not okay with that if he did I am not okay with that whatsoever I've got to admit the whole Kelsier thing I kind of figured out it was going to be Hemorology, the blood one. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I can pronounce Alamancy and that's about it in this series. But as soon as he mentioned the spike in his shoulder, I went, yeah, that's what's going on here. I got that bit, but I didn't see the citizen having the same problem and Spook better not be dead. So all I'm going to say is Spook better not be dead or I will not be happy. I could deal with clubs and dachshund and people like that. I couldn't deal with Kelsia. I'm not going to be able to deal with Spook either. Just saying. Can't deal with that whatsoever. I love how everything is paralleling book one with like Yeoman and Vin and everything else. I love how it's sort of constantly calling back to the first one and paralleling against it. And I'm really excited to see how this all ends because I've literally got like 200 pages left and I'm just like how is she going to escape? How the hell are they all going to meet up again? And how the hell are they going to get rid of Ruin in like 200 pages? I have no idea and I say this every single time but I have no idea how they're going to get out of this. I have no idea how they're going to fix this. Just had my mind blown about the like the first of the Kandra and their origin. Oh my god, it doesn't have I was literally stopped 30 seconds later for a WhatsApp spam of pictures, but oh my god, oh my god. It's such a blatantly obvious question as well that I hadn't even thought of or even considered and then suddenly it's just blown my mind to pieces. Absolutely blown 
my mind. So I've just finished editing my video for today and now I've only got 122 pages left of the Hero of Ages and then it's done and I'm really scared that they're all gonna die like I know it's gonna turn out fine because it always turns out fine and there's a spin-off series set 300 years later so clearly their world doesn't end and yeah I'm sitting here terrified and slightly putting it off but I'm gonna stop doing that and I'm actually gonna read it I'm really excited I'm really scared I'm really scared I shouldn't be but I'm really really scared go bite the bullet and just do it I'm gonna bite the bullet I'm gonna rip a plaster off to use many many analogies and I'm gonna read it wish me luck I knew there was something to do with Vin's earring I knew it 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 I knew there was something to do with her earring I knew it I was slightly wrong I may be slightly wrong I'm only at the beginning of chapter 73 so there isn't complete explanation for it but oh my god I was right about the earring I was right that the earring was important I knew I just know it. I just finished it. I just finished it. And I have no words and I'm a little bit emotional. That was the most incredible ending to that trilogy. Oh my god. Just, I didn't see any of that coming, but it was woven so well into it and it made so much sense in the end and it was that was perfect that was the perfect ending Brandon Sanderson I bow down to you his level of planning and detail and foreshadowing is second to none I have never seen anything like it just I'm a little bit speechless right now. The only way to describe it is that I'm a little bit speechless right now because that was amazing. Honestly, just the way he wrapped all of that up and everything was just incredible. Like, I've never seen so much make sense ever. And while Basically all of my predictions were wrong in some sense except for Vin's earring. I knew that would be important. I was wrong about how it's important. But I was right about it being important. I didn't see any of it coming whatsoever. I did not see any of that coming. And how he tied the religions and sazed into it as well. And I've got no words apart from to say that that was one of the most incredible books I've ever read and one of the most incredible trilogies I have ever read and I won't be surprised if I end up in a reading slump now because that was so good and now I don't know what to do with myself that was the most incredible thing that was literally the most incredible thing ever if you haven't read Brandon Sanderson do it because Everyone needs to get their minds blown by this. Everyone needs to get their minds blown by this immediately. I think if I carry on, I'm just going to start rambling. So I am going to have to leave this vlog here because I'm just going to ramble. So, and I also need to lay down. <laughs> I say this at the end of every Brandon Sanderson reading vlog, but I now need to go and lay down and just process all of that. So I'm going to wrap it up here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with what you thought of the Hero of Ages. I would love to have a discussion with someone about this because I'm in awe. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check it out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here and over here with the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye. I'm going to go lay down because Brandon Sanderson is a genius.